excited about our potential and what I think we can become. Um, I think as a coach, you want to know that the foundation is in place and you have all the pieces to be successful. But at this time of year, I'm okay with knowing that we still have a lot to work on. Um, obviously, we set up our schedule to be difficult and challenge us early to expose any weaknesses that we feel like we need to really harp on and, and fine tune before we get into America East play. But we have the team to be very, very successful. We have the leadership, we have the experience, and we have the depth. And um, it's something we've been missing the last two years. So it makes me excited about the team. But I, as any coaches at this time of the year, you're you know, cautiously excited and, and anxious and apprehensive about um, you know, the next couple of months and, and what's going to come. Well, I think whenever you only lose one player from the prior season, you're going to have more depth because you're going to add not just incoming freshmen, but you're going to add a year more experience to the players that are returning. So our juniors now become seniors playing with a sense of urgency and our, our sophomores become players that are now in their third year and know what it takes to be successful at Hartford. And, and even your freshmen be, are becoming more experienced sophomores. So although I do think our freshman class adds to our depth, especially our redshirt freshman, Katie Roth, I feel like the depth is going to come a lot from those three classes and the fact that now they've played together for a year. We're returning the same players, but hopefully a year older and a year more experienced. And we have a little bit more healthy players. You know, Katie was somebody who missed a lot of last year. We had some injuries we had to deal with and now hopefully we'll be able to go forward with a, a deep team of 14 players and uh, with a lot of different options both offensively and defensively. As I expect our seniors to be our leaders. I expect them to set the tone. Uh, I do think that they have handled um, the first part of the year well. They've handled the thought that they might have different roles this year than they've had in the past. And that's all about experience, maturity, and leadership. Um, I have big plans and hopefully expectations for our juniors this year. Um, Alyssa Anglert is, you know, a true point guard that has experience now going into her third season. And um, Taylor and Milana need to give us more depth in the post, which we really haven't had um, great success at. But I, I think that I'm pleased with the sophomore class. If I include Katie Roth in that, um, Shanice, Amber, and Sherelle have come back better than last year. Katie gives us another scoring threat in the post. And even though she's a redshirt freshman, she's had a year to really learn our system and understand what it takes to play Hartford basketball. So, I, you know, I don't think anyone's has peaked yet or is playing their best. But I would say that they're all, you know, understanding their roles better than they did last year at this time, and they're all doing things better than they did last year. Of the couple areas that we're focused on this year, defense is number one. Uh, we haven't been the same kind of defensive team that we were when we were consistently winning championships and finishing at the top of the league. So that has been a major focus for us. And I was very pleased with our focus on our intensity, especially in the first half of both of our scrimmages. So I do feel like they're finally understanding um, that if they want to win a championship again, that's going to have to be an area where we're a lot better. Uh, rebounding is certainly an issue for us. Uh, it is improved, but it's an area where we're going to have to improve the most in order for us to achieve our goals. And then I like the, our depth and the ability that we'll have to run in the full court and play in the transition game. I think we have a lot of options and with so many different guys with experience coming off the bench, we can sub with confidence knowing that our second group can be just as good, if not in some games, better than our first group. Uh, it's really nice um, to be able to stay at home early and get the experience that we need in the comfort of our own arena with our fans. I know our fans are really excited about the season and I think if we can have success early with the amount of games we play at home, we can really start to fill this place up as the season goes on. Um, but I, th you know, I think it's important for our kids to understand that we want to protect our home floor. Again, of all the, this, the teams I've had that have been the most successful, this is an area where we've been strong. We have not lost in the Chase Arena. We have not lost here at home. And I think that these guys have to understand the importance of that. You do win championships by winning on the road, but you win them because you don't lose at home either. So I think if we can get some really quality wins early, Loyal is a great team. Marist obviously is a team that has had a ton of success um, at our level. And um, you know those will be two two great games to build our, our season on if we can get them at home.